Okay, so first of all, I'm going to hold down shift on the keyboard and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to open PowerShell window here. And this opens up the Windows PowerShell. I'm then going to type in get dash child item and enter. And the child in this case is all of the files in the folder and the folder is the parent. So get child item gets me a list of all of the files in the folder. Now in Windows PowerShell, if you press the up arrow on the keyboard, it will show you the last line of code that you just ran. And so in this way, we can edit the code as we're going along. So I will take get child item and then I will add a pipe symbol to the end of it. So we are now taking the results of get child item, which is the files in the folder, and then piping them into something else. And that something else is going to be a for each loop. Now this for each loop is just a placeholder. I'm going to be changing it later on. I then need a set of curly brackets and then I'm going to press enter. And now what I want is the names of all of the files in the folder. So I'm going to get this using dollar sign underscore dot name. And the dollar sign underscore dot part means use whatever we are piping into this. So that is all of the files in this folder. I then need to close off the curly brackets and then I can press enter to run this. And I get all of the file names in this folder without all of the extra information that I got before. This still has the file extension in it, which I don't actually want. So I'm going to change this to base name. And that gets me the names of the files without the extension. Then I want to split this. So I'm going to do dot split. And I need a set of brackets and then quotation marks. And inside of this, I'm going to put what I want to use to split the name. And so I am going to use an underscore. Then I need a set of square brackets and in here I'm going to put a zero. And this will get me everything before the first underscore. So when I press enter, I get just the first part of the file name. Then I can change this to one and this will get me everything after the first underscore. And so now I get the second part of the file name. And if I had more underscores in my file name, instead of putting in zero or one, I could put in two or three, etc. What I want is to change the order of these parts of the file name. So I'm going to put in one comma zero. And remember, one is everything after the first underscore and zero is everything before the first underscore. So this swaps them around and I get the numbers first and then the value. At the moment, this is all still split up. So in order to join this together, I need to do dash join, then quotation marks. And inside the quotation marks, I need to tell it what I want it to join it with. And I want it to join it with an underscore and enter. And now I have the file names here, but I have the numbers first and then the values second. Then at the moment, we do not have the file extensions here. So in order to add them in, I need to put all of this inside brackets. And then I'm going to add the extension onto the end. And to do that, I need dollar sign underscore dot extension and then enter. And now I have the file names with the dot text at the end. Now I'm going to go back up to the top line and I'm going to get rid of the for each part because remember I said this was just a placeholder. In order to actually get it to change the names of the files, I need to put rename dash item dash new name. 
And now when I run this line of code, we're going to keep an eye on the file names here. So when I press enter, it's going to change the order of the file names. So now I have the numbers at the beginning and the values second. And because of the way this code is set up, if I run it again, it's going to swap them back around and I end up with the original file names again. So in this video, I have shown you how to change the order of the parts of a file name using Windows PowerShell. And that is everything.